Hey guys, Willzilla85 here, going to be doing a Shin Godzilla movie review, spoilers of course, um, so if you guys clicked on it by accident, now is your time to leave, I'll give you a couple seconds. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good, you're gone now. Went and seen Shin Godzilla on the 15th of October, so middle of the whole span. Um, in the first three days, Shin Godzilla grossed over a million dollars, which is pretty good for being a movie only came out in 440 uh, movie theaters across the United States. Um, really enjoyed this movie. Right off the bat, it opens up. Seeing Tokyo Bay, uh, Mysterious Yacht came out. Um, Coast Guard went there to, to see what's going on. No one's on board. Big explosion, red everywhere. Uh, back to like conference room stuff. Um, you know, they're disgusting. Like, what's going on? Is it a volcano or is it a living creature? Here comes the part of the movie where I didn't quite understand. They get out of one conference room, go straight to a different one, then went right back to another one in like five, ten minutes. I have no idea what the hell they did that for. Um, must have missed something. Uh, Godzilla's tail comes up, comes back down, you know, fun stuff. Find out it's a living creature. Then Godzilla evolves into whatever he was in the water because they never really showed it, just the tail, onto land. So now they had to try to stop this creature. And one of the cool parts, it showed the destruction, showed like the death of this creature, or the death that this creature actually does, which reminds me of the 54 version. Well, I should say, and the 84. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Um, you know, Godzilla destroying, destroying everything in his first form. He's just knocking everything off. The CGI is kind of eh in some spots. Uh, a lot of talking in this movie, by the way. A lot of subtitles every which way. I hope you guys like to read. Um, kind of distract from the movie because you got to try to keep up on what's going on. It's uh, kind of like how this is right this second. Uh, but it still was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, they did some homage parts. You know, the movie theater, Tokyo Fox, I think it's called. Godzilla really redestroys that like he did in the 54. Uh, another part of the movie that reminded me of the 54 version was people run up the hill and Godzilla... Well, he evolved at this point to, uh, I think people are calling it Turkey Godzilla. Um, he's standing on the railroad tracks. They're up the hill, just like how the 54 version is. Train tracks are going off. It was just people crossing, though. I don't know why they would be going off. But it just remind the whole scene just reminded me of 54 when Godzilla did that. I uh, really love that. They had a the cool part is they had a Google to see what uh, the what Godzilla actually meant, you know, Okinawan legend, uh, mythological creature. So they named it Gorgira. They kept calling it Gorgira and Godzilla in this whole movie. So that was pretty cool. They got both versions of them. Nuclear waste in the middle of the ocean. A creature found it, started eating it, and turned into Godzilla. So. That was pretty cool. You know, you got a different way to uh, show that Godzilla was born and that. So that was really awesome. Loved music you haven't heard since the 54. So I really enjoyed that. Um, Godzilla just destroying everything. And then when he first uses his atomic beam, Americans come over, they bomb him. You know. Just blood comes out of him, so they did hurt him. The U.S. hurt him. He gets pissed. He starts growing or glowing his uh, purple spines and that. Then beams every which way. Then he shoots it out of his mouth, blows some sort of smoke down on the ground. 
Then he sets it all on fire, just blows the whole city away, destroys all the planes, just kills everyone pretty much around that area. Really enjoyed that. One of the things I'd seen people got confused in the movie theater was uh, the female lead. She was supposed to be American, struggled with English, I guess, but you could tell she struggled with speaking her English lines paired to her Japanese lines. And she was talking about being president in the U.S. in the future. So people got confused on that. Uh, you pretty much had to read that before you went in there. Um, at the end, they find out, you know, U.S. wants to nuke them, of course. They just want to nuke everything. Um, so the scientists and that, uh, biologists come up with an idea of pretty much freezing Godzilla cells. Uh, they freeze him. You know, it takes a couple attempts because he's still just destroying everything. He's in his final form. Um, just looks, like, horrific. You know, everything's just going at him. Um, but they freeze him finally. So he's just in the middle of the city, and they say it's going to take him, like, two to three years to defrost. So there's going to be a new sequel, or there's your sequel. But the part of that is, are they going to just keep them there in the middle of the city? What the, what's the property value around Godzilla? That can't be very high, because who wants to live right next there? That shot was the Godzilla's tail. It was like human-looking, cross between Godzilla. Very confusing on what that was supposed to be. Uh, Google day, it. it was pretty much like if mankind could get together, you know, they can overcome anything, even a god, like stuff like that, you know, they're stronger than that. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Really, I did enjoy this movie. It was, it was better than the 2014 Godzilla. You know, it dealt with the radiation, because you know he's going to leave it leaking everywhere. This movie is a straight-up reboot. Um, has no ties with the 54 version or any other version. No 2014, no 98. Ugh. So that's pretty cool. It stands alone, you know. Pretty awesome. I really enjoyed it. If you can make it out, you only got a couple more days, go see this movie. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, more people that go see it, definitely said go, uh, sequel in the future. So, till next time, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Did you see it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks.